All right there. Whatever. We got to get the party started. And um, welcome to Love Them Knives channel. LTK here talking to you about a knife that is really cool looking knife. And I put it up on my Instagram. Nobody said, oh, this is an exact, you know, this is a clone of whatever, blah, 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 blah. Um, no, I think, you know, it probably resembles several other knives that have long handles and a blade. Yep, gonna look a lot like them. Crap. <laughs> you know, after a while, it's just hysterical how people try and make stuff up like, well, that's a clone of this or that. But no, supposedly this is an original design knife. Check it out. And actually, okay, okay, hold on. The DH gate. So it says original design. These people think this is an original design because they're saying, are they going to tell you the knife? No. Original design M390. Oh, Samurai folding knife ball bearing washer, blah, blah, blah. They put everything. It's like page two, page three. What? Really? Is it a Christmas gift? Oh my God. I didn't think, you know, see, American knife manufacturers, they ought to put original, blah, 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 folding, bearings, Christmas diff, Father's Day, you know, whatever, holiday, pedestrianism, camping, you know, just a nice long five paragraph uh, title to the knife. It's, it's hilarious. It really is. Okay, so this one is freaking out of stock, right? This is where I bought it from is Wisdom. Triple Eight is the name of his store, and it probably doesn't say it up here, but in any case, but I clicked on it, and I guess he's out of stock now, but there's like, you know, one, two, three, four, five other sellers that have got them up here for 134 bucks. It's the cheapest, it looks like, up to 175 I guess this is what I paid, $144.92 um, for mine, so it wasn't the cheapest. Um, I had one review. Uh, this Wisdom Triple Eight. I ordered some knives from him. He's five years on DH Gate. He communicates. Thank God. He ships. Thank God. It's still frustrating. Of course, it's two weeks and maybe more. You know, it's just one of those things. But this is a good looking knife, is it not? I thought this is really cool. And you know what? This is really weird. It's light. It's pretty light. Titanium frame lock M390. Not billboarded. There's nothing there. But you know, I swear to God, I've seen, and I guess this is going to look like a lot of knives because there's a lot of knives that just have a long, very plain. You know, I mean, one guy was going, this is kind of like real steel, maybe, or. I don't know. I mean, you know, I'm just sitting there going, nah, I just nothing quite like this, but it's got to be something close. In any case, and so this will spawn everybody out there to, to throw in their comments of what it's a knockoff of. But in any case, you know, show me the pictures. I don't know. I, I'm not aware of any other knife, but it just, it hits me and like, uh, this looks somewhat familiar to something else. In any case, I mean, so they've got this machining here, long here, and then psh, psh, three grooves on the back. Interesting machining on top again, like, but then the the third, the second groove is right in the pocket clip. That's cool. Kind of just making that work, but you know, hey, pocket clip's in the way. Okay, get that one right there. That's cool. You know, it's a titanium frame lock flipper. There's your lock up. It's about. 30%. Yeah. Nice clean design here. Really nice. Flipper tab's very intuitive and it's jimped. Jimping on the pass through. Pass through is really easy to disengage the lock bar. Got jimping on the top of the blade. You have just a notion of a choil down here for sharpening purposes, but enough, I guess, to get, you know, to get your, your sharpening stones through there and not hitting on anything. Um, 
you know, the blade design is one definitely you can do piercing or slicing. Supposed to be M390, you know, supposed to be, supposed to be, which it might be or it might not be. I know one thing, it's sharp. I can tell you that right now. Now, just because, you know, it's M390 doesn't mean it's heat treat is correct. So you don't know. I mean, you just don't know. And it's a matter of faith. Was that what, uh, was it Shabazz that did that article or something? You know, it is. Um, unless you have, you know, a way to to test it. But it's it's not so much that it's not M390. Because I don't, I don't know that the pricing is that significant between S35V and an M390. But, you know, the heat treat. And it's all in the treat, isn't it? So, there you go. Performance is all in how you handle it once you get it. And you can see, if you look down here, how that is. Yeah, I mean, this is bowed in on the inside right here. Look at, it's higher here, higher here, and low in the middle. Really nicely done, though. Very clean look. So, I mean, uh, I threw it up on my Instagram, and there were a couple of guys going... That's cool. I like that. I like that. that uh, look at that knife. And you kind of, I'm not sure you know why you like it or you don't, but you know it if you see it, that kind of thing. And this one I've passed by, I can't tell you how long. Um, you know, every once in a while, I'll go to one of two sites. And that's another thing I wanted to tell you about. Okay, so if you haven't gone to Best Chinese Knives their blog, or steel reviews, then you're working too hard. Uh, go to the, both those sites, both of them, and they will have blogs, and then, you know, you'll look. I mean, they got pictures, okay? So they'll roll bunches of pictures of different knives from DHgate, AliExpress, GearBest, you know, Fast Tech, whatever, you know. And so <clears throat> these will, there will be a bunch of different knives. Knives that maybe you haven't seen before, but they give you some information and then they give you the link. It's like, if you want this one from AliExpress, click here. Another seller, AliExpress, click here. DHgate, click here. Gearbest, click here. Whatever. So, I mean, they give you the links. They give you a little bit of description of the knives. Um, and so that's really cool. That keeps me up without, I mean, cause where do you go? What are you, you going to do? What are you going to do when you go on DHgate? Do what? Well, if you want an M390 knife, I guess you can type in M390 knife and you're going to have thousands of items to look through, you know. So I try and make it quick and easy. I go there. They usually hit almost everything that's popping out uh, of any significance at all. And even some that are not, believe me. But you know what? That is a great resource. So if you've never gone there, you need to go there. Um, that's my recommendation. That's what I do. I make it easy on myself. I ain't got all day. I'm, I'm doing reviews, you know, obviously a lot of Instagram stuff, research on other, you know, and normal brands, you know, I'm checking out the new Kaisers or we or Spyderco or Benchmade or whatever. So, you know, I'm busy and responding to comments and emails and doing knife sales and shipping. And so, I don't have all day to do that. So I make it easy on myself. And you might actually have like a job and kids and things to do. So make it easy on yourself. There's your lanyard cutaway here. That nice. And look at how they kind of milled along the insides of these corners. What? That's crazy. But you've got a backspacer there. You know, check that out there. Cut away in the middle. There you go. Oh, by the way, if you really want to see this knife in detail, come here. Seriously, folks. Okay. Yeah, I took it apart. So you can see. See? It's cut away here. Back's razor. And uh, let me see what else we got. We got ceramic bearings. Over travel stop, hardened steel insert with ceramic detent. We've got an internal P2 
pin in here, which is sticking right there. Um, and we can see that it has been weight relieved. Oh, well, there's the, there's your lanyard uh, post that fits inside here over here. And of course, this goes through the slot and into here over here. So this pin over here does. There you go. And you've got steel washers in there and under these bearings. And at least they're captured bearings. They won't fall out all over the place because there's some knives recently I've got into from China where they've got a really nice like bronze or, you know, disc. And then they've got little teeny multi-row ceramic bearings and they're not captured. And they could just go, just go. And they have just gone. <laughs> and thank God I had a catchment basement, but I had to, I was picking up little teeny bearings, putting them back in. Not good. In any case, so here you go. So it's weight relieved. It's it's cool. It's uh it's done pretty well. It seemed pretty clean. I wiped it down and you know, put a little nano lube or something in there and put it back together. It was good. Pretty slick. This knife, I mean, that's pretty pretty nice little action on that on that knife. So, you know, for a hundred and whatever, 40 bucks. Of course, I overpaid, right? 144, I think you can get them for as cheap as 134. Yeah, there you go. I always pay a little bit too much. There you go, clicked it right in there. Centered up. No blade play, no lock rock, nothing there. Whoop, <laughs> yeah, it rotates. But yeah, nothing there. It's great, good action. It was good right out of the box. And it came in a box. I'm not sure this is the box. It either came in this box or a black one just like this. I just have this one on the table, just kind of give you a, an idea. This was probably, this wasn't that knife, I don't think. So in any case, but it was one like that. So it wasn't a pouch. Excellent. Yeah, it came apart, went right back together again. Number eight torques there. Number six on these. And you don't have to take the pocket clip off to uh, disassemble the knife. Just these two and the pivot. So how heavy a dog do you think that is? It's, it's a good size knife though. That's what surprised me. It just seems so light. And getting to three and three quarter, isn't it? About 95, 96 millimeters and overall eight and a half, which is 21 and a half centimeters. Okay. Hit the high points here. 0.47. So it's, you know what? Not quite 12 um, millimeters. Wow. Hold on. No, that's better. I was I was doing something here. 12.950. Okay. Let's make sure I get my calipers in the right place. It's kind of hard looking through the lens of this camera. 0.15. Yeah, four millimeter blade stock. Yeah. Let's weigh it. Because I th I think I think it uh you know, you would think a knife like this. That big overall and everything would be five and a half at least. I'm betting it's way below. Oh my God. It's only 107 grams. Wow. Let's get back around to ounces. 3.78. Is that right? Wow. That's awful light. I thought it felt really light in my hands. Well, I mean, you got all this being taken out, right, on both sides. And then, you know, it's weight relieved on the bottom. There ain't a lot left there. But for the size of knife it is, basically a three and three quarter inch blade, that's a good size knife. For under four and three point, what? Oh my God. That's surprising. 
that is surprising. Well, there's some interesting knives over it. You know, on DH Gate and AliExpress, you know, here's that Libing knife. So, how crazy is that? Crazy? You see a screw on this side? No. There's one right there. Crazy? Interesting? This one here is also very light. Look at the grind. How strange is that, huh? Just different knives. And, and oh my God, the multi-row bearings on this one, be careful, are not captured. This is M390 as well. Here's another example of an M390 knife. About 140 bucks. Crazy. Comes in a zipper pouch that says Libing on it. L-I-B-I-N-G. I kid you not. I mean, that's just a crazy name. I don't know. I don't get it. You know, and things like Nemo. Another M390. Wonder here. Titanium frame lock ceramic bearings. All that kind of stuff. Right? And, I mean, that's why you go to Steel Reviews. And, and of course, the FYL Leopard, which is multi-row ceramic bearings. That's S35VN. And then, of course, the Peacock. What? Yeah, I know. M390 as well, supposedly. I mean, you know, who knows? But it's just craziness. And here's the Nemo that's not in the titanium. But it's M390 as well. As a G10 liner lock. Okay. So how crazy is this getting? I don't know. Get on Steel Reviews. Uh, if you like that kind of stuff. If this is something that you find attractive. Um, I find it fascinating. It's always fun looking for the little jewel in the pile. And it's a crazy pile. It's a pile of craziness. And yes, they got clones and knockoffs and weird stuff over there too. And if you're into that, so be it. I don't care. But I try and find the originals. And sometimes I end up buying actually a clone. Because I, I, it's of a, of a custom knife uh, and a maker I, I didn't even know existed. So I've got a good eye for design, obviously, don't I? In any case, so I'm going to let you go. Hey, very interesting knives though. I always... Thought it was fun to uh, drift around the uh, kind of the unknown uh, brands that, you know, who knows? Who knows? In the future, these, whoever's making these may emerge as another name knife company. And some of the main Chinese makers that are well lauded right now, they came from humble beginnings as well. They came from doing clones and other things. And we, if you don't believe that, you just go to, you go to Best Chinese Knives blog. That guy there, he will, he will, um, yeah. He's also known as A-Tech Reviews. Go ask him. He knows. He's written uh, some articles on that. In any case, uh, so, you know, you don't want to poke a finger uh, too quick and accuse anything because you know what? Sooner or later, they're going to be around and they're going to be distributed in the U.S. with brand new, you know, original designs. And here they come. Another one right out of nowhere. In any case, so it's fun. And this is like when they were in the minor leagues, right? So it's kind of fun seeing how, how things develop. It, to me, to me it is. And that's some good minor league stuff. I'll tell you what. Um, wow. Uh, you know, and I've got guys that come to me and go, oh, you know, that's silly. These these things are as good as two, three hundred dollar knives I've had in my hand. Okay. I mean, I kind of hate saying that as my original comment, but I'm retweeting it to you and repeating it to you. And you know what? I'm not going to argue with them. There's some really, really good knives out there. In any case, hey, what do we got? Flanagan and Finian. Finian, the new member of our task force. That guy, I don't know, but I think he's got some luck there. This guy came in from Richard Rigsby, who was coming back from Camp Taji in uh, just, well, just about 15, 20 miles from Baghdad, which apparently that wasn't really much of a resort spa tour. And so he was out for a long time, away from his family. It was just, that's just tough drags. 
tough drags. But in any case, he was in Ireland going through the airport, sent me a picture going, oh my God, um, <laughs> there's a whole bunch of these. And I go, grab me one. You know how we feel about chain migration? I guess it's okay. <laughs> We're good. We're good with this guy. Finian is cool, dude. And uh, I was going to show you. Never mind. I'm not going to go down that road. Or maybe I will. Here, hold on. If you haven't checked out yet, he's got a whole crew over there at the airport in Ireland. Oh, my God. My wife says, hey, we got to hook up. So, never mind. Um, I think we're getting enough relatives already on board. But, hey, take care, my friends. Hey, check out those blogs if you're interested or not. I don't care. In any case. It, it, I, I have a blast doing it, and there's a cadre of us that are doing this, um, and a whole bunch of people around the world. So, you know what we do around here. What do we do, Finian? Ah, you love them knives. Yes, you do. Yes, we do. So, guys, stay sharp.